Hello everyone, here's your teacher Orlando and today's lesson is appearance and health. Appearance and health. Vamos a aprender a describir personas físicamente. Vamos a aprender también a mostrar preocupación cuando alguien tiene alguna enfermedad o un problema físico. Vamos a aprender sobre vocabulario de enfermedades y remedios. So let's get started with the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Read and listen. One, black. Two, brown. Three, red. Four, blonde. Five, gray. Six, white. Seven, dark. Eight, light. Nine, straight. 10, wavy, 11, curly, 12, long, 13, short, 14, he's bald, 15, he has a mustache, 16, he has a beard, 17, he wears glasses, now listen again and repeat. Black. Brown. Red. Long. Gray. White. Dark. Light. Straight. Wavy. Curly. Long. Short. He's bald. He has a mustache. He has a beard. He wears glasses. Read and listen. One. Eye. Two. Eyebrow. Three. Eyelashes. Four. Nose. Five. Ear. Six. Mouth. Seven. Teeth. Eight. Chin. Nine. Brown eyes. Ten. Blue eyes. Eleven. Green eyes. Two teeth. One tooth. Now listen again and repeat. I. Eyebrow. Eyelashes. Nose. Ear. Mouth. Teeth. Chin. Brown eyes. Blue eyes. Green eyes. Two teeth. One tooth. Okay, here you're going to listen to the conversation. Y van a enumerar en los cuadritos según la descripción que escuchen. Listen to the descriptions. Write the number of the conversation in the circle. Conversation one. What does he look like? Well, he has short dark hair and a mustache. Is he good looking? I think so. Conversation two. What does she look like? Well, she has short, straight gray hair. Is she old? No, she isn't very old. 
Oh, and she wears glasses. Oh. Conversation three. What does she look like? She has long, straight hair. What color? Blonde, brown? Blonde. Conversation four. What does he look like? He has curly gray hair. Gray hair? Yes, and he has a beard. Conversation five. What does she look like? She has long curly hair. Light or dark? She has dark hair, and she's very pretty. Does she wear glasses? No. Okay, you can listen the conversations one more time so you can be sure of your answers. Here we have the verb to be and the verb have. Vamos a utilizar el verbo to be y el verbo have para describir. Si se dan cuenta, cuando utilizamos are, la descripción va al final. Her eyes are blue. My eyes are brown. Their hair is gray. Her eyelashes are long and dark. Cuando utilizamos el verbo to be para describir, el adjetivo, la descripción va al final. Cuando utilizamos el verbo have, la característica va, de, va después del verbo have. For example, she has blue eyes. Si se dan cuenta que está la característica y está después del verbo has o have. They have gray hair. Cuando utilizamos have más la característica, debemos de utilizar un sustantivo al final. For example, she has long, dark. Esas son las características. Eyelashes es lo que estamos describiendo. Van a utilizar aquí el verbo to be, el verbo have, para completar esos ejercicios. Describe appearance. Describe appearance. Let's listen to this conversation. Read and listen. Who's that? She looks familiar. Who? The woman with the long, dark hair. Oh, that's it. That's Sangalo. She's a singer from Brazil. No kidding. Listen again and repeat. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. Who's that? She looks familiar. Who? The woman with the long dark hair. Oh, that's Yvette Sangalo. She's a singer from Brazil. No kidding. All right, let's continue with the next part. This is the lesson number two, and here we are gonna learn about part of the body, parts of the body, and to show concern about injury. Vamos a mostrar preocupación cuando alguien nos dé una noticia de que le pasó algún tipo de accidente. Let's listen to the pronunciation of parts of the body. Read and listen. One. Head. Two. Chest. Three. Stomach. Four. Hip. Five. Knee. Six. Ankle. Seven. Neck. Eight. Shoulder. Nine. Back. Ten. Arm. Eleven. Leg. Twelve. Hand. Thirteen. Finger. Fourteen. Fingernail. Fifteen. Foot. Sixteen. Toe, 17. Toenail, two feet, one foot. Now listen again and repeat. Head, chest, stomach, 
Him. Me. Ankle. Neck. Shoulder. Back. Arm. Leg. Hand. Finger. Fingernail. Foot. Toe. Toenail. Two feet. One foot. Okay. Here, let's listen more vocabulary about accidents and injuries. Para esto es necesario que manejemos las partes del, cuel, del cuerpo, que podamos identificar las partes del cuerpo. Let's listen to the pronunciation. Read and listen. One. He burned his finger. Two. She hurt her back. Three. She cut her hand. Four. He broke his arm. Five. He fell down. Now listen again and repeat. He burned his finger. She hurt her back. She cut her hand. He broke his arm. He fell down. Okay, here we have some past verbs. Burn, burned, hurt, hurt, no cambia, cut, cut, tampoco cambia, break, broke, fall, and fail. Esos verbos lo vimos en la unit number 11. I hope you can remember them. Okay, now you're going to listen to some conversations and you're going to write the injuries that you hear. Vas a escribir los problemas que están en esta parte de aquí, como burn, hurt, cut, broke, fell, and some others. Listen to the conversations. Write each injury. Conversation one. Cindy, are you okay? Oh, this? It's nothing. I burned my arm last Tuesday. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Traten de identificar la parte del cuerpo que la persona menciona junto con el problema que le aconteció. Conversation two. Hi, George. How are you? Not so good. I hurt my shoulder yesterday. Oh, that's too bad. Thanks. Conversation three. What happened to Nicole? She broke her finger last week. Is she okay? I think so. Conversation four. Robert, what happened? What? Your face. Oh, this. I cut my chin. I always cut my chin when I shave. It's nothing. Conversation five. How's your grandmother? Well, actually, she fell down this morning in the kitchen. Oh, no. Yeah, but she's okay. Well, that's good. Conversation six. Why isn't Stuart here today? Well, actually, he went to the doctor. He burned his hand on the stove this morning. Really? That's too bad. I hope he's okay. Read and listen. One. Ooh. Tooth. 
blue, food, to, hook, should, good, foot, three, oh, nose, toe, broke, four, all, awful, fall, long, five, ah, blonde, hot, wash, Okay, now let's listen to this conversation. Show concern about injury. Vamos a expresar algunas preocupaciones cuando nos damos cuenta que algo le pasó a una persona, un accidente, or something like that. Read and listen. Hey, Evan, what happened? I broke my ankle. I'm sorry to hear that. Does it hurt a lot? Actually, no, it doesn't. Listen again and repeat. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. Hey, Evan, what happened? I broke my ankle. I'm sorry to hear that. Does it hurt a lot? Actually, no, it doesn't. All right, here we have some ways to express concern. Let's listen. Listen and repeat. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh no. That's too bad. All right, now let's move to the last part, which is about about ailment. Aquí vamos a aprender los nombres de algunas enfermedades y cómo dar sugerencias cuando una persona nos dice que tiene un problema de salud, right? So, let's listen. Read and listen. I don't feel well. I have one. No me siento bien. Tengo tal o cual cosa. A headache. Two. A stomach ache. Three. An earache. Four. A toothache. Five. A backache. Six. A cold. Seven. A sore throat. Eight. A fever. Nine. A cough. Ten. A runny nose. Now listen again and repeat. A headache. A stomach ache. An earache. A toothache. A backache. A cold. A sore throat. A fever. A cough. A runny nose. Okay. Anteriormente, on um, lesson two, vimos una palabra que es hurt. H-U-R-T. Hurt significa dolor o doler. La utilizamos para expresar, for example, uh, I hurt my back or I hurt my arm, or I hurt my foot, pero también tenemos la palabra ache, que se utiliza también para expresar dolor, headache, dolor de cabeza, stomach ache, dolor de estómago, and so on. Así es que para expresar un dolor, vamos a utilizar el verbo have, I have a headache, I have a stomach ache, and so on. And if you want to express uh, if you want to express that in the past also, so you use had, I had a cough last week, I had a fever this morning. Now let's listen to some remedies vocabulary. 
Read and listen. One, take something. Two, lie down. Three, have some tea. Four, see a doctor. See a dentist. Now listen again and repeat. Take something. Lie down. Have some tea. See a doctor. See a dentist. All right. Aquí tenemos una palabra quizás nueva para algunos que es should. Should. Vamos a utilizar should para dar sugerencias. For example, si alguien te dice, I have an, ear, an earache or I have a stomachache, I have a fever, entonces vamos a utilizar should para dar una sugerencia. For example, you should take something. Me duele la cabeza, I have a headache, you should take something, teacher. Deberías, deberías. Should, la forma negativa es shouldn't, shouldn't. Si les digo, I have a toothache, I have a toothache, entonces la sugerencia sería, you see, you should see a doctor, you, you should see a dentist. Deberías ver un doctor, deberías ver un dentista. If you have, let me see, let's say um, a cough, a cough, well, I le podría decir, you should have some tea. Or you should lie down. Should se utiliza para dar sugerencias. Debería. Si se dan cuenta, después de should, no utilizamos la partícula to, sino que decimos el verbo directamente. You should see a doctor. Or he shouldn't go to school today. To finish, let's listen. Some conversations van a marcar The, ill, the ailments, la enfermedad de la persona, y el remedio que se le sugiere tomar. Let's listen. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct ailments. Conversation one. I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a headache. Oh, that's too bad. You should take something. I know. Thanks. Conversation two. What's wrong? I have a backache. Really? A backache? You should lie down. Good idea. Conversation three. I really don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a stomach ache and a fever. A stomach ache and a fever? Yes, I feel terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. You should see a doctor. Conversation four. <clears throat> Bless you. Are you okay? Sorry, I have a cold. You should take something. Do you think so? Yes, poor thing. Conversation five. What's wrong? I have a sore throat. Well, you should have some tea. Good idea. Conversation six. What's wrong? I have a toothache. What? You have a headache? A toothache. A toothache? Ow, you should see a dentist. Okay. All right, you can repeat the conversations one more time so you can confirm your answers. Remember, if you have any ailments, you can express it using the verb have or saying, I don't feel well. I have a backache, I don't feel well, and so on. O si alguien te expresa una enfermedad, entonces te corresponde a ti dar las sugerencias, utilizando should. You should take something, you should lie down, you should have some tea, you should see a doctor or see a dentist, and so on. All right, so let's listen to this conversation. Suggest a remedy. Suggest a remedy. Sugerir un remedio. 
Cuando vemos que una persona nos expresa una enfermedad, podemos utilizar esta expresión, what's wrong, qué te pasa, what happened, and so on. Read and listen. I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a headache. Oh, that's too bad. You really should take something. Good idea. Thanks. I hope you feel better. Listen again and repeat. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a headache. Oh, that's too bad. You really should take something. Good idea. Thanks. I hope you feel better. All right, here we have more ways to say you're sick. Otras formas de decir que estás enfermo. Como I feel terrible, I don't feel so good, I don't feel well, como vimos anteriormente, or I have any sickness or ailments. 